Hi and welcome to a fresh new episode of The Global Game with me, Vedika. Let's begin. What is humiliation? Calling someone at home and then just simply disrespecting him in broad daylight. This is something that Bulgaria's president, Romain Radev, did with the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky. In a spectacular display of humiliation and disrespect, Bulgaria's president, Romain Radev, left Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky furious and flustered. The tensions between Bulgaria and EU Ukraine over Bulgaria's reluctance to become a Western ally is no secret, and Radev took full advantage of the situation to make Zelensky's visit a nightmare. Despite the invasion and the anti Russia stance taken by most major Bulgarian political parties, Radev has openly embraced a pro-Russia position. From accusing pro-Ukrainian legislators of being warmongers to threatening to veto EU sanctions against a Russian nuclear energy corporation, Radev has consistently worked against Europe's efforts to support Ukraine. Recently, Radev extended an invitation to Zelensky for talks in Bulgaria. However, instead of engaging in a meaningful discussion, Radev proceeded to belittle and dismiss Zelensky's pleas. Sitting across the table, the Ukrainian delegation remained stone-faced as Radev asserted that there was no military solution and that more weapons would not solve the conflict. Zelensky, not one to back down, responded with measured scorn. He questioned what Radev would do if faced with a tragedy and criticized his reluctance to support aid for Ukraine. Zelensky made it clear that he expected a real president to stand up for their country's independence not cover behind vague assertions and diplomatic posturing. Zelensky lambasted Radev for downplaying the gravity of the situation, emphasizing that Moscow's invasion was a full-blown war, not just a conflict. He called out Radev's lack of support and applauded the Bulgarian government's decision to supply arms, a decision that put them at odds with their president. However, Radev remained firm in his position, refusing to provide weapons. Zelensky left the meeting red-faced with the media hailing his bravery. Now one cannot help but wonder if Zelensky's bold move will ultimately backfire. Bulgaria's biggest authority was already against him, and this encounter may have sealed Zelensky's fate in his quest to win over Radev's support. Moronik Zelensky found himself dancing like a headless chicken desperately trying to win the favor of a leader who had no intention of supporting him. The Ukrainian president may have lost his last chance to secure Radev's backing, effectively closing the door on any hopes of aligning Bulgaria with Ukraine. The message is clear. Radev's pro-Russia stance and reluctance to support Ukraine's cause have made him an adversary, not an ally. Zelensky's encounter with Radev serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder the diplomacy can be a treacherous dance and not everyone is willing to join in the steps. As Ukraine continues its struggle for support, Radev has simply displayed him the mirror that what exactly Zelensky is for Bulgaria. Till now, Radev was in a mood to talk. No, he possibly won't even think about it. Zelensky lost his golden chance to win over him and that's why we call him a clown.